How do mood rings work? Well, I don't mean to upset the delicate balance of anybody's TikTok shop, but they don't. And I don't think I'm going to blow any minds by saying that. If by some miracle you have not yet encountered a mood ring and desperately need context as to what the hell I'm talking about, a mood ring, or sometimes pendant, is essentially a ring or pendant that changes colour. Now, when this piece of jewellery changes colour, it is supposed to reflect the wearer's mood. Now, this is obviously complete twaddle, so let's unpack exactly what they are doing and why. Mood rings or pendants or jewellery more broadly actually contain a very special kind of liquid crystal that's very sensitive to temperature changes. This liquid crystal is embedded in a glass or a plastic or stone, which is then fabricated into a cheap piece of tatty jewellery. The liquid crystal is initially black or dark in colour when the room is at room temperature. Then when you wear the ring, your body heat warms the crystal, causing it to change colour. The colour change corresponds to the temperature of the skin at that moment, not your mood. Now, mood rings typically come with a colour chart that suggests different emotional states for various colours. However, these, as I mentioned earlier, are complete twaddle. There is absolutely no scientific foundation or basis that even suggests this is even vaguely true. The underlying science of mood rings is based on something called thermochroism, which is essentially colour changes with temperature. It's got nothing to do with psychology. The colour changes are due to the physical properties of the liquid crystal, not changes in a person's emotional state. Mood is a complex psychological state influenced by a very, very wide range of factors, not just body temperature. It cannot be accurately or reliably determined by a simple piece of tatty jewellery. Moreover, just to anchor this even more firmly into reality, psychologists and experts in the field of emotions the world over have confirmed repeatedly that mood rings are not capable, even vaguely, of detecting or measuring mood. They are considered novelty items for the entertainment of children rather than scientific devices, which, believe it or not, is occasionally how they're framed on live videos. In fact, the only reason as to why I decided to make this video is because I stumbled on somebody's live video where they said, and I quote, scientifically proven to determine your mood. Absolutely boggles the mind.